still working on my last project for this summer. Uh, starting this weekend, Labor Day weekend, I'm going to be on vacation. But I took these old gates down, or these recycled cypress gates down. Taking all this recycled fence stuff down, and the old gates were over here. Or this is where the gates were. Had to move them. Discovered some problems here. Uh, whoever buried that sprinkler system and put that electrical line there uh, didn't do it to code, so I've got to fix that. That's supposed to be in kind of do it. It's dangerous stuff. There's four 110 lines and a common. And uh, this stuff can hurt you. <laughs> and it's only three inches below the ground. But anyway, we here's what it looks like after we get done with it. It's the same fence as that over there. And we just uh, paint it with kills, which is a primer. And it kills mold and mildew and all kinds of... And then we paint it with a coat of good... Uh, Exterior, exterior uh, paint, and uh, I use kills right there. Good stuff. And then I'm using this Valspar Storm Coat. This is good stuff. And it makes a nice fence. And if you go bought bought this like this, they charge you about fifty dollars a panel or more. Like this plastic fence out here. That's it's not even eight foot, and I think it's between one panel and two posts. You got to pay about sixty bucks, or, you know. And it's it's pretty, but it's plastic and it's flimsy. And a hurricane wind, force wind's gonna blow it down. Even though those are in concrete, but you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, you know, twenty-five, thirty panels, sixty bucks a piece. Ah, that's an expensive fence. That's why I'm doing this. You know, I mean, this paint is not cheap, but still, I'm saving money. It's gonna be a long time before I get finished, but you can see that here's, you know. I got a little touch-up paint to do over there, and I've got. But you know, saving some money, and I've got to go all the way around this. But not this year. <laughs> like I say, I'm going on vacation. I'm going to Missouri. Be up here in the mountains for the the fall of the year when the leaves change and. Uh, See what everybody's been up to since I since I left. So, all you buckaroos here in Florida, if you don't see me uh, today or tonight, or early in the morning, you ain't gonna see me for a while. I'm gonna be gone six to eight weeks, thereabouts. Okay, man, I got a lot of work to do. But there ain't nothing wrong with this whole fence. It's just, you know, mold and you know, water from the sprinkler system, this thing, you know. And it'll be nice and pretty when I get it done. If I ever do. <laughs> oh, my garden's wilted. Yeah, it's late in the year. We got about four jars of pickles off these cucumbers. Bread and butter style pickles. Didn't make no deal. Anyway, two little buckaroos. We gotta get something to drink. It's the heat has not broke yet. Now yesterday, that tropical storm that didn't give us no what we really needed. We needed good strong wind to blow this heat out, and it, it kind of moved it out for a day or two, well, about 24 hours. But it came right back today. So. We back up to 90-something today. Y'all have a good Labor Day weekend. To the buckaroos.